we run Chicago. Fuck what happened before us, we're what's happening now. J9, J9, J9. Shy City stand up. Oh, 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 oh. J9, J9. Keep on hating, keep on hating. Believe it when I say I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it to the top. I'm headed non stop. Whether you believe it or not. Talk to people. You ain't gonna satisfy everybody, period. You just ain't gonna do it. So, for everybody that wanna be a part of this movement, because we not, we know we ain't gonna win everybody on the first day, but once we get a rolling, here they ass come. You know what I'm saying? It takes a positive thought to start anything that's great. We don't want to hear all that shit that used to be. Fuck all of that. This is a new movement, period. And if you ride with me, goddammit, I'm going to give you my all, I swear to God, on my kids. I'm going to give you my all. So if you ride with me and you here, you know you got some time, come on, go with us and let's make some motherfucking moves. Okay, like I said, this is about unity, period. From the big to the smallest artists. And right now, I'm bringing to the stage just the way my man Twister is in the building. Last but not least, my man, the king of R&B himself, R. Kelly's in the building. So what we gonna have, I'm gonna let Twister speak, and then we gonna have you ask a few questions of your choice about, about the industry and what it is and what, you know, their outlook on everything, all right? Y'all with me? All right, come on. What's happening, everybody? What up? All right, uh, Y'all can shoot, y'all know I've been doing my thing for a long time in the game. Uh, if y'all want to ask me some questions, y'all can go ahead and shoot. Uh -huh. Make your heart still sustain. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think it definitely starts with being a true artist. Like a lot of times you have artists that get lucky and get on and like they might have one song that might be popping and their heart might not be into it or it might just be something that was going on at the time so they was able to do their thing for a minute, but you got some artists that, that not only just like, like today you got situations where it happened like that, but I come from an era where you have to be a true artist doing your thing to get signed. And so me being like me, I consider myself a true artist and being that I love being in the studio, I love doing music, I love recording. So I'm constantly doing my thing, not just because I want to make money in the game, but because I just love the music in general, you know what I'm saying? And then it's about saying youthful too, because the like hip hop music is something that's driven by the youth. So you definitely gotta keep it youthful. I, I'm definitely not with hating on the music that was out there or, or the music that's coming out now because I'm so in tune with the music that was out there when I came out. So you definitely gotta find new ways to incorporate the music that you hear that's coming out now into the music that you're doing so you can stay pop. Okay, repeat the question one more time. I'm saying if you were coming in today's marketplace and how it's set up now and how things are done and people recognize, how would you do things differently today to get popping than you did when you first started? I mean, today it's about the technology. Like when I came out previously or when I first came out, we didn't have 
access to the computer the way we have access to it now. So today, an artist is able to get out there and make yourself popping on the YouTube or whatever. So you want to use your computer to the best of your ability. It can be your studio. It can be your outlet for your videos. It can be the way you communicate with people. It can be the way you sell your music. So you definitely want to use technology to the book. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. That's how. I'ma make it to the top, I'm headed non-stop Whether you believe it or not Drop, drop